Okay, so I got outside all dialed in. I even straightened it up a little bit while I was out there with the level. What we have to do inside now is got a U-bracket that we're going to put along uh, the pipe. There's three zip ties on it. We're going to put this on to really hold it in place. It's pretty snug right now, but we'll do this just to make sure. And then I have to mount this to uh, the metal plate up there. This is going to actually hold uh, the connections, everything that comes in here. It's a junction box, if you will. So I got to get this all put in place. So back up the ladder I go and uh, we'll get this done. Here we go. All right, so I just got done mounting everything up top. Let me show you what that looks like. And pan up for effect. A little white box right there at the end of my finger. That's the uh, control unit coming in from outside. All the wires come into it right there as a junction. And they all run in a single Cat5 cable coming all the way down, running down the side there, along there, down underground. And they're going to come back up and we're going to mount everything right here. All right, so I have my control box here. This is where everything is going to come in, the digester, the weather, everything. And the indoor temp and humidity are right here as well. Just need to drill two holes, mount it right here. Power is going to come from right here and then connect everything into it. Should be pretty easy. Here's hoping. Knock on wood. All right. Time to go deep. Got to find where the entrance is at. Okay, let's think of another plan there. All right, so I went and got a piece of my old fence uh, that uh, Duke the Destroyer has uh, nicely broken for me. And I essentially created the world's largest rectal thermometer. So, let's go ahead and send it down there. Down in the stomach it goes. Yep. Okay. Now we just have to run this over there and connect it. We should be done. Okay. So now it's time to see if we're getting anything coming into the system from the environmental monitoring suite. That's the one that has the wind and the outdoor temperature, indoor temperature, humidity in both places, as well as the digester information, uh, the temperature. So just need to log into the server. And here's praying that it all worked. Okay, I'm seeing outside humidity, inside air temperature, inside humidity, zero precipitation, wind is out of the south, wind speed gust of 8.31 miles per hour, wind speed sustained of about one mile per hour. Digester temp is 49 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah! It worked! Woohoo! 
Thank you, God. Okay, now it's on to the power and monitoring. Really it's exciting to actually have the information. It's all being logged, it's being recorded. Every minute we're grabbing the information, I might change that so it actually uh, doesn't occur that often. Sorry, I'm out of practice with my boom mic. Uh, but it, it's very exciting. I got this stuff in, we get to start seeing what's happening in the digester. The digester is down at 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Obviously that's too cold to really do anything. And that's why I wanted that down there to see what's happening. So even though it's 70 degrees outside, what is it outside? 73 degrees outside right now. Is that right? Oh, that was inside. Outside, 72 degrees outside. So uh, even though it's 72 degrees outside right now, it's still only 50 degrees down in the digester. So obviously we're not gonna have anything happening when it's that cold. So probably need to turn the heat back on if we wanna see that thing happening, but that's a story for another time. So I think we're gonna wrap up this install. I now have to move on to the uh, power and water monitoring sensors for lane two. Uh, remember, we're not gonna be doing lane three or lane four this year just because we don't have time. So that'll be moved to another time. So. Uh, I'm not going to be done with phase two until next year, but I'll be done with it for good enough this year as soon as I get lane uh, two sensors put in and then we get lane one built. So uh, we're actually going to be getting on to some pretty big builds here. Very excited. If you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to us if you like. Hit that little bell. You'll get notified when we have new videos. And if by chance you aren't getting notified, probably best to friend us on Facebook or on Twitter. Uh, it tends to be a little bit more reliable than YouTube when it comes to the notification. In the meantime, everyone, this is The Real Martian. Out.